Hello, my name is Billy Gilbert, um, a brand new master's degree dual study uh, student focused on mental health counseling and school counseling simultaneously. Uh, I'm completely new to this field. I don't hold any degrees that are related to psychology or counseling. Uh, however, I have supervised people uh, throughout my work experience. I served in the Air Force for 18 years, and I've worked several fast food jobs where I've had to manage people. And for the last seven years, I've been working in the information technology sector, uh, specifically in the field of cybersecurity. Um, I, that's what I ended doing uh, in the military, and that's what I'm still doing on a government contract supporting uh, similar things. I thought I would challenge myself by doing a verbalization rather than a written post. I find that I can write well enough, and I don't have any issues with that. However, I do often tend to struggle with conversations, particularly when multiple people are involved or I get into scenarios where I don't feel like I'm a subject matter expert that I need to be. I could be just a little bit off and then my insecurities kick in. Um, unfortunately, um, that happens often uh, in, in scenarios that uh, we're not accustomed to. And in the world of counseling, I anticipate that each day will be unique and I will be exposed to scenarios where I'm uncomfortable or that I'm not familiar with. I expect that to be a normal process of what we do. As far as um, individuals, I, I can't say that there's a particular individual that has influenced my decision to become a, a counselor of sorts. However, in the processes of... Um, being involved in my church, leading high school age groups, uh, being a mentor to them, being a mentor to my three kids. They're all boys under the age of 10. I've kind of felt led to come back to this. When I started college many years ago, um, I initially wanted to be a psychologist because I came from a broken home. Um, my family's stayed together for the sake of staying together because that's what people did in that age rather than, rather than divorce, but I've seen things that I probably should have not ever seen. As such, I feel like I can relate to people that are going through similar uh, experiences. I've been given a gift to be able to relate to, to things, even though there, there's oftentimes I haven't actually gone through those experiences. I'm very relatable in that regard. I'm an odd individual as well, which uh, I like to say that I'm passionate about people, but I don't people well. And um, I think counseling will allow me to be able to help people on a very personal level without having to be super involved in the interactions. I can, I can lend my ears and all that, but I feel like God is leading me back to where I started with uh, college when I first began, I, I wanted to be a psychologist, as I mentioned, for those reasons of coming from a broken home. I wanted to help people that had marital issues like my mom and dad. I wanted to help the child that uh, watch, watches the abuse that is happening. And somewhere along the lines, I, I decided that uh, I would join the Air Force. I spent nine years working on aircraft. I spent two years working in supply. And like I said, the last seven years, I've been involved in the information technology career field, which is what I am doing now. I'm a late bloomer, if you will, in that regard, that I'm coming back to school at the age of 37. And I'm married with three kids under the age of 10. I'm learning a lot about myself in this endeavor. I stream part time as a hobby where where I discuss um, where I discuss God. I discuss politics. I know those are the the you know we don't discuss religion. We don't discuss uh, politics, but I do, and I want people to know that they're that that it's okay to disagree. 
that they that they still matter, that they're still valued, that they're still loved, that they that that they're valued, even if we don't hold the same opinion. Um, I think streaming opens up that window for me to be able to relate to people and meet them where they're at. And in the event that they are struggling, I, I can respond to that and reach out in a loving way, let them know that, hey, you know, I'm sorry, sorry, things were rough. Um, would you like to talk about that? And sometimes the answer is no, and I respect that. Other times they just want an ear to listen to, and God has given me two. Um, I believe that there is a reason why the Bible tells us, you know, be, be slow to anger, be slow to speak, and be quick to listen because we have two ears, one mouth. And it is so that we can actively listen as opposed to, yeah, I, I heard. Um, I've had to tell my kids oftentimes that rather than simply hearing it, it's gaining, it's gaining an understanding, it's soaking in the information. And sometimes the best way to do that is to listen and then to repeat it back to ensure that we've got it correct. And sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. On that note, I think, uh, I think when it comes to, the, to college in general, working a full-time job, volunteering uh, in the high school groups, I volunteer uh, to also to run our, our uh, church's stream. Uh, I'm very involved in a lot of different ways. Uh, one, of the, one of my biggest concerns is uh, just being overly committed, having too many commitments going on at the same time. And I think practicing self-care is going to be critical for my success. Um, that is going to be getting plenty of sleep. That is going to be eating the right foods. Uh, that is going to be proper work rest cycles between work and school and uh, just a lot of other different things that uh, that might come there. Um, when I'll, I'll, I'll tend to know when I'm feeling stressed because I carry, I, I have bad posture to begin with. So I carry all my, all my stress here, but when I, when I get stressed out, it, it's, it's amplified and I get really tight and then I get irritable and all that. So I just have to have that moment of time where I calm down. I find me time, whether that's getting into the word or going for a walk or going fishing, uh, doing something that is a hobby that I enjoy. That could even be playing games or just reaching out, talking to a friend. Um, that's a little bit about me. And uh, yeah, I thought I would challenge myself with responding verbally as I've talked for the last eight minutes or so, I've realized that I say um or uh a lot. Those are habits that I'm trying to break. And as I navigate through this, my hopes are that I become a better speaker and that I can communicate verbally as well as I can written because I don't feel like written communication is a struggle for me. However, when I've tried to verbalize that, I often get the confused look and I would like to fix that. Anyways, so I look forward to learning from you guys and uh, seeing, seeing you guys in this class and future endeavors. Good luck and take care.